Hello everyone, I'm at your repair guard over here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix CD DVD burners that have the trays stuck in it. This will work on 99% of all the um, cases uh, of them failing to open. Uh, normally how we could tell if they're still fixable is when you hear the unit do the... Um, do the um, you could hear the mechanism going, but the tray would just not open. You hear it going? So let's get to it. What we're gonna do um, is basically get the unit, obviously, um, and peel this plastic right here. Now you could use a knife or you could use your um, regular Phillips screwdriver. I'll use a knife just for convenience. And you're gonna basically peel it out carefully, little by little, and it should come out without much trouble. Um, once on the inside, you're gonna you're gonna be able to see this tiny wheel. This is what holds the CD down when you um, insert any CD and whatnot. Uh, however, what I discovered is that it might be holding down too much, since it is what is actually um, making the tray not open. See, without the wheel, you'll see it spin for a little bit and it will open without any issue. However, if we were to put a CD inside of it, uh, the CD would just go all over and get scratched, break, or cause any more, more serious internal damage. So now, in order to fix this type of problem, what we'll do, give me just a second, get this tiny wheel. Now on this tiny wheel you could basically see that the wheel in itself has three little teeth that are wedged in this little compartment. So let's take it apart. We'll take it apart by basically just so it comes out very easily by doing it um, counterclockwise or clockwise however you're looking at it. It'll come out together. The piece is composed of a lot, little tiny magnet and this, you know, the plastic thing that holds on the CD. So, in order for the tray to successfully open, we're gonna have put a little bit more space in between the clamp thingy and the plastic stuff. This is how we'll do it. If we were to, com to fully just make it go back to normal, we will just put it like that and let it go, let all these plastic teeth go to the respective place tuk, tuk, tuk. as you can see right there there, right there but now we're gonna get one of these tiny pieces underneath the metal plate how are we gonna do that? well, we're just gonna not put it correctly and there's a multiple ways of doing that one that I discovered is this, it is basically just lift a little bit and lift a little bit and just have the other two pieces go in accordingly like that so like that we can see that the two little plastic teeth are in there correctly however this other one it's underneath where it's supposed to be so we have some somehow of an uneven um, thing not so nicely placed but regardless it will be there we'll put it back you put it back into the socket and put the plastic back as well. If you wanna you if you want you could also add extra glue, whatever. The industrial glue in it should be fine, shouldn't come out. But you wanna have that piece in there, the plastic on top of it. Uh, so now let's try it. There we go. And now you will see that the piece will open without any issue. Now many of you might be wondering, well, will it affect the uh, um, you know the rotation of the CD or its redundancy or whatnot? Or am I gonna be experiencing them cannot this carriers? Well um, fortunately this won't be true. Let me show you something. Over here I just fixed um, same thing with I just did the same this with it I just did the same exact thing I'm sorry with this unit and it is working fine completely fine 
Uh, I installed Windows 7. It has a brand new install on this desktop that I'm refurbishing, and there's just simply no no issues with it. I tried this with multiple uh, multiple units that have that were messed up, and all of them were fine. I was able to watch movies without any issues. I was able to um, play install games because I installed Windows 7. I was able to watch movies like nothing. And it's working fine. It's just a tiny, tiny, like call it whatever, tiny fix um, for literally nothing that will save your old drive. Well, thank you so much for watching. Comment, comments, whatever below on the thing below. <laughs> and I'll see you guys around. Peace.